Scorpy, oh, what is up? It's your girl, Kat. We're gonna do your weekly love reading right now. And at the bottom of the deck, it's a 10 of cups. That's what's up. That is complete emotional happiness and fulfillment. Yay. All right, let's see what we got, guys. Happy Monday. I hope everybody is doing well. I didn't get a chance to get this done yesterday. Um, so I'm doing it now. All right, so Scorpio, we start off the reading with the Nine of Pentacles, which is all about being self-sufficient, independent. Um, you know, she's doing very well all on her own, okay? The Eight of Cups is walking away up. Seven of Cups is, I call this, uh, the grass isn't greener or things aren't as they appear. Um, yeah, see, because he's walking into this room full of golden cups and he's thinking, oh man, this looks amazing, right? But when you get up close to these cups, I don't know if you guys can see, it's like snakes and ghosts and severed heads. Who wants that? All right, so I feel like Scorpio, you've been independent for a while, all right? And maybe you have met somebody and you're thinking that it looks really good, but maybe things aren't what they appear. And you're kind of questioning your feelings now. Five of Wands, this is all about conflict. Could be conflict with another person or inner conflict. Okay. Justice, being treated fairly. Um, equality, you know, with the scales here. The Eight of Wands, that's swift me up. Swift action and communication. I can't talk today. I just got home from work. I'm really tired. Um, swift action and communication. Okay, so I feel like there's some kind of conflict. It's either within yourself or with this person. Like, you have some kind of disagreement or conflict. You butt heads about something. Okay, it could have to do with um, equal give and take. It could have to do with being treated fairly. Um, not sure. And then we have a lot of communication. So I feel like you guys maybe text message each other a lot, um, talk on the phone a lot. I just feel like there's a lot of communication between the two of you. This is either being left out in the cold or this is financial hardship. Four of Swords is needing a break. And the page of Swords, I call him the surveillance camera because he's got a sword drawn and he's like, anticipating something coming or something happening right all right so i don't know scorpio i feel like you've been on your own for a long time you have like this potential love interest i feel like um and you're concerned that things may be too good to be true or that they're not what they appear and you're questioning your feelings a little bit maybe some kind of conflict either within yourself or with this person has to do with putting in work equal work or being treated fairly lots of communication back and forth with this person but then i feel like we go no contact here with the five of pentacles needing a break needing a time out so somebody is stressed out and cutting off communication i feel like but watching you So I feel like, I don't know, I'm just, I'm just picking up that when this person gets stressed out or overwhelmed, they just shut down and cut off communication. At the bottom of this deck, we got love, 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 baby. That's the Ace of Cups. Okay. So let's clarify some of this. I'm really curious why the Seven of Cups is here. Yeah. That's unfulfilled emotional boredom. So yeah, I feel like you've been on your own for a little while and then um, you, you meet this person and everything looks really amazing, but you're not sure if you want this connection or not because you don't trust it, Scorpio. I feel like you don't trust your feelings. Like you're afraid that this person is too good to be true. They're just checking all the boxes and you're just like <laughs> suspicious. <laughs> Making plans. Okay. Conflict. Why is the conflict here hanging on? Hmm. Do you feel like you've been hanging on to this for a little while? 
Justice is the emperor, okay? I call him been there, done that, bought the t-shirt. He's an older, wiser gentleman who's a great leader, okay? Makes wise choices. So I feel like you could be in a conflict with this person about the choices that they make or choices that they've made. Hmm. Lots of communication here. This person wants to give you their love cup, their cup of love. The Knight of Cups there, that's an offer and cups are our emotions. So this person is bringing you their love and then they cut you off. <laughs> Look, you're independent again, just like at the beginning of the reading. All right. Four of Swords. Ooh. Heartbreak. Third party situation. Uh-oh. So this person could have other options. They're entertaining, Scorpio. So when you don't trust it and you're afraid that it's too good to be true, this could, person could have other options here. Or they could just need a break because their heart hurts. They're heartbroken. They're really upset about something. Um, I don't know. This is no contact. So I don't know. You guys may have had a fight. You may have really like hurt this person. Either that or they, they're entertaining other options. It's one or the other. But they're watching you, keeping an eye on you. Ooh, here's an ending. Okay, so this person may have had other options and told you that they needed to take a break and actually ended it with you to go be with somebody else. Hmm. All right. Let's um, pull some awful cards. I'm picking up that you're trying to hang on to this relationship even though you guys seem to like bicker a lot or you don't see eye to eye, okay? There's some kind of, like a lot of stress involved in this relationship, but I don't think you two are stressing each other out. I think, honestly, I think you're both stressed out and seduction just jumped out at me. Attraction, teasing, hooking up, and date, third party. And temptation. This person has other options, you guys. I'm surprised we didn't see the sneaky mofo jump out. But yeah, this person, this person goes no contact with you, right? They say that they need a break. And then they, they actually end it with you to go entertain other people. But they keep tabs on you to make sure you're not entertaining other people. Oh, I know some Scorpios that got some stingers for you cross watchers. <laughs> That's ridiculous. Okay. Healthy choices, self-love and self-care, being happier, love and life. Okay, so, I mean, you got the Nine of Pentacles twice in this reading. So you just fine on your own, Scorpio. You don't need anybody. You're going to be just fine. So, you know, you may have to cut this person off and make some healthy choices uh, and focus on self-love and self-care because, you know, I think this person has other options. Blowing a kiss, unconditional love, giving and receiving, fairness and love, affection returned. Okay, well, that contradicts everything. Hmm. Let's try a different deck. Let's try this. This is the lover's oracle.
cannot miss the fact that this jumped out at us. And it says, freedom. There is nothing stopping you. The path is clear if you want it to be. All right. So if you think this person is fucking around on you and has other options and that they're cutting you off to go chase other people, you know, path is clear if you want it to be. Manifesting miracles. Your dream is soon to become reality. Trust your heart and continue to follow its guidance. Oh, that's a tough one, you guys. You know, once upon a time in a galaxy far, far away, I was watching um, like an online church program. And the pastor said, when you're not sure what to do, don't do anything. You know, just, just wait for divine guidance. Wait for inspiration. Wait until you are sure. So you're getting kind of mixed messages here. And I feel like there's a lot of this going on. Like, it's too good to be true. I don't trust it. It looks great on paper, but, you know, my intuition is screaming at me, you know. And then we have the, the ghosting and the, the cutting off and the you know, possibly third party here. Either that or you just really broke this person's heart somehow and they just needed a break. Um, you know, Scorpios do um, sting and then think. So you may have hurt this person. I don't know. Or they may have third party situation on their hand. Okay, so it could go either way. So I feel like if you're not sure what to do, it's better to just sit still. Um, before making a decision. But that's just my opinion. You can do whatever the hell you want. You're a grown person. <laughs> but yeah, my advice is just let it play out because I don't have a clear answer about this either. Actually, you know what? Let's don't forget, we had the Ten of Cups at the bottom of the deck. So this is complete happiness. You're going to be happy one way or another, Scorpio. That is for certain. All right, let's shuffle it a little bit. What's the outcome of this reading for Scorpio, please? What is the outcome of this reading for Scorpio? All right, again, this could go either way. We have two cards here that are very strong commitment cards. This person is bringing you an offer of commitment. And then here's the king of pentacles. This is very solid, stable commitment. Then we have two twos. So two different options, two different options. So this person could have other choices. They could have other options. They're entertaining. Um, could be talking to other people behind your back. Um, I don't know. So it's up in the air, guys. I don't know what to tell you. You're going to have to just either wait and see. Or just follow your intuition. All right. So that's what I have for you for this week. I hope that you like that. If you have not yet subscribed to the channel, I would love it if you hit that button and join the Scorpio Cat family. The more the merrier. Um, let's see. What else? I do the daily three card reading every morning before work. On Tuesdays, I do a no contact Tuesday reading. And then on the weekends, typically, I do all 12 love signs for all 12 zodiacs but i only did six yesterday so here we are anyway i hope you have a fantastic night tonight guys thank you so much for supporting me on my channel take care until next time bye